case none of you have ever seen it. This is a high voltage ion engine. Basically, the only moving part is that propeller that you see spinning around. <clears throat> the high voltage. I'm going to stop with this cardboard so hopefully I don't get shocked. The high voltage comes off the spiked ends. See the little pointy ends? They're flying, the ions are flying off the little pointy ends against the air and uh, makes the whole thing spin around and around and around. I can't remember, this is like 15, 20,000 volts. Not much current, very low current. Um, I wonder if we'd see a little bit of glow if I turned off the lights. Let's, uh, let's shut off some of the lights and see what we see. Now there's still some lights. I still have uh, cabinet lights on. I guess that's going to drown us out, that light there, no matter what. And since that's plugged into the same wall outlet as the ion engine, that won't do us any good. <clears throat> now I think I hadn't run this thing in probably over 22 years. I just wanted to see if it would still work. Still does. In fact, it's going faster and faster. Let's uh, let's shut it down. Yeah, it's got its own little switch down here in wall wart. There we go. Move this guitar robot back where he belongs. As you can see, it's uh, slowing down to a stop. By turning off the high voltage. That's it. That white wire coming from the high voltage supply just goes up, energizes this whole uh, copper. And the ions fly out of the little points. <clears throat> now what got me interested in that was way back in the late 1990s and uh, early 2000s, it was very popular. I'm digging something out to show you. It was very popular for everyone to be building what at the time was called lifters. And basically these are just uh, ion motors, ion fans, ion wind, whatever you'd like to call it. This is balsa wood. This is aluminum foil. This piece of aluminum foil will be grounded and there's a little teeny thin wire. Can you maybe almost see it? It's real small gauge stuff around the top. Anyway, the wire goes around where you see the black pieces and there's more of the thin wire wrapped around that piece of cardboard. <clears throat> that has to come down and goes to a high voltage supply. In the case of the lifter, um, since everyone was getting rid of their old CRT uh, computer monitors back then, you could get those for free. And also old uh, tube TVs, everyone was going flat screen. So once you had anything that had a CRT tube in it, it means you had a high voltage power supply. And here I had one that I stuck inside a Robbie dome so people wouldn't get shocked. This one isn't as fancy looking, but it's the same thing. It's a balsa wood frame to be light. It's got the aluminum foil skirt, which is ground. And across the top, it's got the little teeny thin wire, which goes down to that black dot in the center you see on the wood. That's the output of the high voltage supply. Actually, I said it backwards. The one in the center is ground. This red wire here has a wire that loops up and goes to the upper wire. Sorry about that. The uh, three strings, one off each leg, is to hold it because it doesn't have any way of balancing. It's just creating thrust. And um, inside this base, of course, this is a, a garbage can turned upside down with a piece of copper tubing around to make it look a little more spacey. But um, inside here I had a, uh, I think it was a Quasar TV. Yeah, here's the, here's the remote for it. Had a Quasar TV and I tried to keep just the power on off and I can't remember if that's the IR sensor or if that is. We're gonna try this. We're gonna see if we can turn it on. There we go. And there it is. You see it jump up, you can hear it hissing. I'm going to shut it down. 
I wonder if we could see the blue on this if I turned off all the lights. Let's try that. We're gonna, we're gonna turn off the cabinet lights. See, that's north, west. I'm gonna turn off the power to the west side. Well, geez, if I turn off the power to the west side, then I bet that lifter doesn't even get power. Let's find out. There's west, it says, let's turn that off. Let's turn off the lights. Okay, there's still some cabinet lights on, but let's find out. See, I got a feeling when I kill the, the power to the west side, it would also kill the power to the, uh, the lifter. We're gonna find out though. It may not because there's still power to the center console. Oh, we still got power. But I think there's so many lights on at this point that we're not gonna be able to see it. In a uh, totally dark room, what you would see is a little purple-blue corona around the little thin wire across the top as it's discharging and making all of its thrust. It's moving ions from the little thin wire down towards ground, which is then pushing the entire contraption up in the air so there's no moving parts. And uh, here's a little description thing. Capacitor thrust device. If it's the sort of thing you're interested in. I've been seeing all kinds of YouTubes just popping up recently with people just discovering this, thinking they've gotten something new and, and it was old. <laughs> it was old science back in the year 2000 when I was building them. I even built a really big one uh, which is hanging up out in my workshop. It's like a, a meter across, you know, about three feet across. And it uh, would float and fly exactly the same as the little ones. The size doesn't really make any difference. And I would use computer monitors to uh, power it. But there was no easy way to display one that big. Okay, I think I've got the power shut off to everything and the lights back on. Yes, cabinets are all dark. Okay, well I just thought you guys might find that interesting. Got a little uh, ion engine. We got what we all used to call lifters back in the day. Lord only knows what they may call them now. But uh, they're basically ion fans, ion wind, ion power.